For this incoming winter storm, you may have seen all kinds of snow totals on weather apps and social media. Meteorologist Casey Dorn continues our team coverage tonight with how our weather team gives you accurate forecasts. Casey. Yeah, Diane, have you ever been on social media and seen a snow map that looks like this? This is one of our forecast models predictions for the upcoming snowstorm that ran yesterday. Now, our weather team didn't show you this map, though we don't show you the hype. We show you the model data like this and then use our own knowledge to produce snow forecasts like the ones that you've seen for this week's storm. When you look at an app on your phone, it's reading the exact output of a weather model or blend of them. Alex, Alan, and I use our knowledge of weather science and the specific strengths and weaknesses of models in our region to make forecasts like the one tonight. No one gets it right all the time, but we will never show you a single model run and tell you that's what's going to happen. Now here's how we do it. Within five days of a storm, we're looking at model consistency. Do the models agree? We'll show you the big picture view at this range. Within three days, the storm has generally formed. We've got lots of data and the models are better, so we'll tell you specific impacts, timing, and snow totals and tell you about what could still change. Within a day of the storm, we're looking at the storm itself radar, satellite, temperatures, and giving you hour-by-hour hour pinpoint forecasts. The key to remember here is to follow trusted weather sources in major weather events like this one. Our job is to give you the facts. Social media won't give you the full story. In studio, meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5. Kay